Good day everyone, in this video I am going to share my experience of visiting the bush and mangrove areas in a coastal region called Dundee in Northern Territory of Australia, crabbing for mud crabs in the creeks in the bush area using the crab pods, how we cook and enjoy the delicious mud crabs. This video is going to be definitely interesting and I suggest you to watch the whole video. If you are new to this channel and like to watch more stuff like this, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any videos in future. So what's in here Rob Thompson? We already put some crab pods the night before in the creek, just few minutes away from our stay and we went to check them in the morning. We went to the first spot where we put our first crab pod and noticed that some water ran away from the creek as it was low tide time. Mm. Reckon crab? No. Nah. No, I wouldn't think so. Oh, right, huh? oh that's... There's one in there. Mm. There's one crab oh. in there, small time. Up in the shit. A small mud crab got caught in our first crab pot. Are you going to get that or leave that? No, more baby. Guys. We just left him again into the river to grow up and get caught again in our crab pot. After that we tidied up our crab pot and tied a new bait onto it. Then we throw that again into the creek to catch any crabs next time when the tides come in. After that we started walking towards our next destination where we put our second crab pot. We were walking through the bushlands. On our right, there were some trees and Australian wild bushes, and on our left, there were mangrove plants and the creek where we put our crab pots. It was a natural and pleasant environment, and the walk in the morning through this kind of place felt so good for us.
Once we got close to our destination, we started walking through the mangrove plants and reached the creek. We already tied the rope from the crab pod to one of the mangrove plants. Rob started pulling it out of the water to check whether there were any crabs get caught in that pod. Unfortunately, we didn't get any crabs from that pod. We removed the old bait and tied the new one to that crab pot as well. Normally, we use barramundi fish fillets as the baits to the crab pods and the crabs are attracted to that smell, come to eat them and get caught in the crab pods. After we fixed this crab pod, we threw that again into the creek. After that, we went to check our next spot where we put our crab pod. We managed to pull that one out of the water and check for crabs. No crabs in that pot either, so we fixed a new bait and threw that into the creek again. In our next crab pod, there was another small crab got caught. We took the pot outside and released him too. He was furious after coming out. He spread his clothes and showed his anger. Anyway, after few seconds, he went again into the river. Then we went through the mangrove plants to check our next crab pod. There was more water in that particular section of the creek. We managed to pull out our crab pot and checked inside. There was a crab inside and it was a perfect size crab. Hey. 
Rob tried to put him into the bucket directly from the pod, but his attempt was failed and the crab fell outside. As soon as it landed in the ground, it spread its claws and came towards us furiously to bite us. Justin managed to put the bucket over the crab and started wrangling with it. That crab was a very nice edible crab with big claws and hopefully good flesh inside. After some time of wrangling with the crab, Justin managed to pick it up from the ground and put it into the bucket. I decided to play some more time with that crab. So I put the beer bottle into the bucket and watched that crab trying to bite the beer bottle. It was fun watching him for some time. After that, we put yeah. some leaves into the bucket to keep him calm. Nice work, gents. We almost finished with checking all our crab pods and started walking back towards our place. We only got one crab this morning, but the night before, we got few more crabs which I couldn't film as my phone ran out of charge. You will see all those crabs very soon and we are going to cook them all after we return to our place. Finally, we came to our place and took out all the crabs we caught. There were 8 crabs in total, some of them were in the bucket and some of them were in a blue color ski. As we put them in ice for a long time, they lost their energy and they were less aggressive. It's only this one, eh? I don't think he's burning anything. thing. Rob pulled out a crab and started cleaning it. He used a couple of knives, punched them inside the crab and cracked the shell. These mud crabs have stronger outer shells and very hard to crack them by hands. So we used knives, then Rob started cleaning their interiors. It's much wider. Oh, okay. Maybe an oval shape. Yeah, a bit, bit rounder. And just cut him down the middle. Oh, I know how to clean the face. Yeah, how to clean a crab. Clean all that jello thing. Yeah, we'll just hose that out after. That's another male. Mm -hmm. Rob cleaned a few more crabs. Most of the crabs were male. So how long it takes for a crab to grow as an adult? Oh, I'm not sure, Meg, but not, it's reasonably quick. You're lot, right. A lot quicker than So fish. just months? Yeah, months. Not even yeah. a year? No, not years. There was a crab which was still active and a little bit aggressive. That should have been the crab we caught in the morning. Probably a little bit mm, hangry still. Oh, some of these other ones. Still a bit active too. After Rob cleaned few crabs, I decided to give him a hand and clean few more crabs. This is Mags the Magnificent. Cleaning the crab. Cleaning the crab. So I'll have it, crack it down the center. Rip its face off. Get its lungs out. Bit of the 
guts. Stick it there ready for a rinse. Eight crabs this morning, just off the bank, back of the block. Very nice, well done Rob. Very good. Unluckily. Plenty of crab. Unluckily this one is missing its... I think it's claws in the claw? thing, I think, one, I think it had a fight in there. Yeah. Nice work. Plenty, and then all that um, guts out of the yellow stuff. That's it. You grab what you can, put your fingers in, and we just rinse it out. Nice work, Mag. Thanks, Rob. All over it. After we cracked all the crabs, we cleaned them all well in fast running water from a hose pipe. Well done Rob, nice job. And to you mate, and to you. Cleaned our crab swell. And they're gonna go in the water, you're gonna boil them tonight. All our crabs were cleaned and washed well and ready to be cooked. To cook the crabs, we first filled a big vessel with water. Then we chopped some garlic into small pieces and put them into the water. After that, we kept the big vessel in a gas stove, add some salt and let the water to boil well. After the water boiled well, we put all the crab pieces into the vessel to boil them well. After the crabs cooked well, we started taking them out of the vessel and put them into a separate vessel. The color of the crab shells changed into red and they were very hot. It indicated that the crab pieces were boiled very well. After we took out all the crabs, we put some ice with the crabs and put them into an esky and let them stay there for another three to four hours. We took out our crab pieces after four hours and started eating them. The claws of the mud crabs are really big compared to the other kind of crabs. It was a bit hard to crack their shells using hand, so I used the knife to crack them easily. The claw I took had fair amount of flesh in it. There were also some yellow color fat deposits mixed with the flesh. These crepes were tender, juicy and very tasty. We just boiled them with garlic and salt and we didn't add any flavors or spices with them. But still, they were very tasty and one of the best crab experiences I have ever had.
all right that's the end of this video guys i hope you would have enjoyed this video and if you did so leave a thumbs up on this video subscribe and hit the bell icon to watch more stuff like this i will see you all in another beautiful video till then thanks for watching and cheers